Hello everyone and welcome back to A City Planner Plays City Builders and we're playing City Skylines today and we're building the community of Bluffside Crossing and if you'll recall in the last episode we built a uh, pretty significant upgrade to our highway system, a ring highway around the entire city and what we're going to do today is build a uh, kind of a separate community and I'm thinking it could be a university town off from this interchange that we built for the highway. So what I'm thinking that we might want to do is actually extend these roads to the edge of this bluff and build the city here. Um, I want this to be a completely separate city so I might use a different grid pattern that I have been using. If you look at what I have done over here it was kind of a 20 by 10 grid uh, I think I might do something a little more uh, unique over here maybe like a 15 by 15 leave some spots in the middle where I can connect pedestrian facilities through and build out a grid and then fill in uh, a college campus and maybe a, a nature preserve park over here or a zoo um, so I, I think that that's where we're gonna begin um, I'm also going to do something a little different here rather than um, you know, taking this and turning it into an avenue um, uh, or, or you know a collector I'm going to simply extend the highway using uh, just normal two-lane roads we're gonna extend that up and uh, See how that works out. So I do want to make sure that these are parallel. I know right now they're not uh, for the connection itself, but I think it's going to be important to, to keep them parallel uh, to have a sense of order as we get down to the bluff. So we'll keep that parallel there. Move over. And make that connection. Now there are a couple ways I could go. Um, since this is a new community, I could decide, you know, we're going to have all independent utilities. That's a challenge um, because there's not really a good way for me to monitor the utilities over here separately. Unless you know of a way, uh, I, I'm, I'm unaware of such a way to, to do that. So I think that what I'm going to do is find a way to connect up to other utilities in the area and uh, you know build off that existing infrastructure now I know some of the utility connections might need to be expanded upon it's gonna be pretty inefficient being over here for trash collection so we might need to get a local connection and, and feed off of our main uh, trash facility and we, we we're garbage processing status isn't good anyway um, but for everything else we should be okay so I think we'll have kind of a main road that uh, provides a good vista I mentioned 15 by 15 that's gonna be a unique challenge So I want to make sure I nail the first one. It's going to leave that little square in there. Um, we'll see how this turns out. I'm, I'm thinking it could be pretty, pretty neat. So one of the reasons that I like to use a grid and, and one of the reasons why, you, you know, there's so, uh, I, I guess I'd say ubiquitous in America beyond the fact that the street grids were 
uh, established basically by the surveys that were done. Um, you know, when, when lands were granted back in the early days of the U.S., um, one of the reasons why they are so prevalent is they're easy to adapt and reuse. Um, and one of the reasons for this is when you have a gridded system. So let's say you want to have a larger park. You can just go through and eliminate this road and now you have broken up the grid, created an interesting space, and you, you've given yourself the ability to re reuse this space in, in a unique way. And you see that same sort of thing happen uh, naturally in, in cities throughout the U.S. And uh, it's one of the flexibilities that you have with a grid. One of my criticisms of you know some of the more contemporary urban design are that when you go and create you know a road like this you know while it might be more visually interesting as as a as a driver for instance it is not nearly as easy to traverse as a pedestrian it is more difficult to serve with transit and reuse is is pretty much non-existent. So that's why something like this, while it might be pleasant to see on a map, in reality, it can be very difficult to reuse uh, because now as lands get divided up and roads get added, you end up with irregular parcels making development of buildings and structures more challenging. So I'm going to avoid that in this particular town. Uh, and any curved roads uh, that I do add are going to be to, to follow the terrain, not just for visual interest. And I would prefer that in this particular area, we take the grid and uh, break it up in individual areas where we want more interest or where the grid doesn't facilitate what we're trying to build. I think I'm gonna go maybe two more rows back and then start start building. Okay. Um, so one of my other thoughts here, now that I'm, I'm, I'm I threw in a collector street, you know, really for no reason right here. And that's just not good urban planning. So I'm going to add a large avenue with grass. Really, we only need one lane. Um, and one of the interesting things about uh, this game that, that kind of holds true is the more intersections that you have, the uh, the more complexity uh, or the, the more options people are going to have to get around. And that disbursement of traffic will actually lead to uh, good outcomes in terms of uh, traffic. So why not, uh, why not allow for that? Have lots of intersections um, and, and minimize the number of roads that we're funneling traffic onto and that's one of the things you'll see when um, you know, when you develop roads a road system that is you know next to 100 percent based on collectors and arterials with this little couple local roads here and there is that you're going to end up with a, a road system that is inefficient and uh, funnels all the traffic into one area so let's avoid that here. Okay, so we'll quickly connect up our water. Now, one of the inefficiencies of this grid that I've created is that the bigger grid means that we are going to be closer than I would like to be for our next line of water, but it's kind of unavoidable here, uh, unavoidable, and it's, it's fine. OK. 
Okay, and then I think we'll run this one right up the middle. So we're not gonna develop in the middle of the, the roads. We're gonna try to avoid that. We don't want weird little buildings. We can put trees or something in that terrace. And then we'll follow this road. Again, I like to keep my my uh, water infrastructure underneath the roads. In reality, this is what happens 99% of the time uh, because the city's able to dig up underneath the road to fix a water main when it breaks. Um, if you were to, for instance, have a break and the water main were under a home, you have some pretty tough choices to make about how you're going to resolve that. Um, you're probably not going to want to demolish the home to be able to facilitate the uh, to facilitate the create uh, the, the, the repair of that pipe. It's just not reasonable. So for the time being, I think I'm going to run this power line along the edge of the highway. We will get this to our tourism district. Okay. We're getting there. <laughs> it's going to always be a little bit tedious, particularly when you have roads that curve. You want to keep it. Or, I guess I like to keep it tight on there if I can, uh, on under the roadway. That means you're fighting the game a little bit here and there, because power lines do not curve. Okay, so now we have power, ideally. Yes, we're good. Got a row of commercial buildings. And so I think this might be a good time to actually start setting the policies of this zone. Um, I want to use this neighborhood tool to name the city. Right now, I have no idea what to call it, but I do know that uh, there are some of you out there that might be able to help me. So down in the comments, if you could, please give me a good name for this district. Uh, it's going to be a, uh, a place where there's not a lot of high, we're going to ban high rise buildings. Um, I think that it could be good to, let's see, in this area, let's, uh, let's go a little wild, we'll have recreational use. Uh, let's give it, let's increase the parks budget, educational boost. Um, this is a university area, so let's really like recycling, parks maintenance boost, prefer parks, free Wi-Fi. Um, let's see, book fair uh, will help the libraries, but it'll increase the upkeep. That's fine. Let's have free public transportation. Uh, let's also let's be conscientious of our water and power usage in this area. Also, I think that's this is pretty good. That's a good good mix for this area of policies. I don't know that I necessarily want. Let's see, I don't have any blimps. Otherwise, that would be a good one for here. Um, You know what, let's make this area super desirable. Let's lower taxes generally. So this will make this a very interesting area. So we're gonna, because this is an educational area, well, let's have some, oh, whoops. Let's have a mix of offices and commercial. 
Actually, I'm going to rezone these to be high density. We can step back from there. Some more commercial along this main street here. Let's do a bit of beautification here. Let's have some bigger trees. First, I want to eliminate everything in the median. And let's do some rows of trees. Maybe not off the hill. And I'll plant where some got missed. All right. Speed up the simulation. And then I think we're just going to throw in a bunch of residential everywhere else. And we can reuse, we can, we can figure out the, the nuance of the area a little bit later on. Um, for a university, I want this to be the focal point, so I think I'm going to actually just eliminate this entire area right there. Now, uh, full disclosure, this is a new mod for me, or not mod, uh, this is a new expansion for me. So this will be my first time actually um, utilizing the university tool. So I think this could be really, um, you know, kind of a fun experience. You're learning with me for the first time. So I guess before we get to the university, let's get some other amenities in this area. And let's take a look at what, what this uh, expansion offers. So we have a trade school. So I think this is this is the liberal arts college. Or we have a trade school campus, liberal arts college, university, sports, and museums. So why don't we make this a you know, just a regular college campus for major university we can start out by having kind of our main walk to the university kind of continue that two-way grid that we had going on over here. Wow, these buildings are a lot bigger than I uh, realized they would be. So our university might be growing. So this right here is, we have a university administration building, dorms, study hall, groundskeeping, a club, we have a lot of buildings. A lot of buildings, wow. And then I got, I have some DLC as well. Um, so let's start out with only the built-in assets. And we will modify our grid along the way. So we placed our admin building. We have dormitories. Let's see. I think I have to paint the district, I'm guessing. Paint campus area. And I'm thinking that this campus area is going to be significantly larger than I was anticipating, which is fine. Uh, I might take up a portion of this block over here. And sometimes universities are, are fairly irregularly shaped because they're being fit into the context of what's already there. So let's try to do that a little bit. Um, so I'm going to remove the zoning 
in these areas. And I actually have no problem with that high school being in the campus area. I think that that'll be a, a unique addition. Okay. Whoops. Let's get back to where we are supposed to be. So I think we'll need a couple dorms. So why don't we put those? Well, let's look at our, our main campus buildings first. So groundskeeping can be near. The admin building. We get a road back here so we can do a little bit more with that. And we'll extend this campus area to that road. Um, study hall. So what I think I'm going to do is look at getting some of the buildings outside of the dorms first, some of the support buildings. Actually, I, I don't like that idea. I think we should add our dorms right up front. Let's make that right in the, in the, in the front walkway so the dorms have the best, some of the best access to the rest of the city. club over here. We added that. Um, let's see what else do we have? Outdoor study area. That would probably be great to have right up front in the main quad area. So it doesn't like this and I'm guessing that is due, the, due, to, due to the terrain. Let's see if I can Take a look at that at all. Yeah, there is there's some steep grades there. So let's improve that some. Whoa. Undo. <laughs> that was not what I meant to do. That was significantly larger than I was thinking to. That's how you can tell I'm doing this live. <laughs> We're not live for you, but live for me. Still not liking it. So it would be fine if I were not on the road. Okay. Well. Plan B, let's see where else we could get this. So I just mean that we are expanding our uh, walkway system a bit. Actually, let's put our road back in here. Yeah, we will reestablish our grid right there. And we'll have to clean some of this up with move it later. Okay, so we have our outdoor study area. Gymnasium. Overlooking our outdoor study area. That sounds like a nice location for it. Cafeteria. Let's try to keep this close to the students. Fountain. The fountain might be nice to have near the center, a place to kind of hang out and study. Library we can put next to the high school. Math club. Let's see, we had a gap over here. Not big enough. Also not big enough. 
Let's keep Math Club close to the library. It makes some sense. University Commencement Office. That should probably be close to the Admissions Office. So let's increase our university into this area as well. Take out some of those homes. <laughs> Academic statue. Not, not sure how necessary that is to us right now. Let's see, we also have our auditorium, laboratories. Now we're going to need to do a little bit of a little bit of modification to this. It's going to keep growing, I think. Bigger and bigger and bigger, which is fine. This is this area of the community is really going to be the university. So the laboratory is certainly important. Auditorium. Might actually just eliminate the street right here. Let's see if we can make it just wide enough for a pedestrian path. And then sneak our that is not gonna work. It's okay. I think that it would be just fine to have these buildings tight. Not a lot to walk to over there anyway right now. Okay, the bookstore. That is certainly important. Maybe it just means that we need to break up what we're doing over here a little bit. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that would certainly spice things up. Have our bookstore on the edge of campus. Media lab. I don't know if we're gonna have a spot for that chess club. That being close to math club seems to make some sense. So we'll have our club buildings kind of clustered. School of law. Oh, I like the sound of that. So when I went to grad school, that was kind of off from the main campus. So I might do that as well. So let's have a, an arm of the campus that kind of extends over here. And then we will remove a bit of the grid in this area. Again, the flexibility of, of, of the grid is you can adapt it to your needs. And part of the struggle of the bluff is this terrain that you see here. So let's kind of smooth some of this out and we will fix it up after the fact. We can move it, move some of the roads. just to make sure we have a, a, a flat building pad to build on for this, because that's really a big part of the struggle with this particular building is we are dropping off a cliff. So this should work now. All right. And then to show like, let's for the campus areas have these nice wooded or tree lined streets just to kind of denote where our campus is. Okay. Ooh, School of Medicine. Maybe not this, not, not right now. Let's 
throw in our media lab over here. Let's see what other buildings we have. School of Science. Hmm. You know, maybe if I were to. Yeah, I know. I think we might just end it there for this stuff. And now maybe look at having a couple of these amenities buildings. They are very large, though. Luckily, it doesn't look like these need to necessarily be on campus. Let's see how bad that looks. Ooh, that is rough. I did not realize just how far off we were off the hill. They let you place that anywhere. <laughs> um, let's have a nice big football stadium here. and we'll put it in an aquatic center as well. And that'll be kind of what we do on this campus, those two things. It'll be our calling card. Throw in some anarchy here. And so I'm really most interested in just looping the road around. So let's see if I can do that. I think we're gonna have to clean some of this up uh, later on at another date. Uh, cause I'm going to wrap this up momentarily, but I'm, I'm, I'm really digging where we're going so far. Let's finish up our grid. Also fix it. <laughs> the last thing we were looking to do was completely destroy our community. It looks like that is exactly what I'm doing right now. Okay. We'll throw in some commercial uses around the stadium, places for people to grab some food. And then we'll add some residential uses. We're going to pepper these through campus as well. Now, I think I might consolidate some of the things that are happening here and add some of the statues that we didn't add initially because um, there's space for it now. What are some of these? The art gallery, science center, art center, tech museum. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I will not do that. Okay. Let's see which one of these I have. A tech Museum, Art Gallery, Science Center. Why don't we do an Art Gallery? And then... See if we have any room for any more statues. Otherwise, we are going to do some of our decorating next time around. Yeah, and I think that we're pretty much tapped out. So this is the start of our university. And uh, I, I like it. I think it, it's pretty cool. We have some serious issues here, though. Uh, first, no transit access. 
uh, that is something we're going to want to remedy. Uh, once we add transit access, we're going to have to think about uh, if we need to add another bus depot to make it make sense here. We're going to want to clean up some of the mess that I made with the, the roads. I said I wanted to clearly delineate where the university was. Um, I need to do a bit of terraforming here to fix this mess. Uh, add some trees. Um, and then there are basic services that are missing, such as a hospital. Maybe I'll add that one right now. And death care. Um, we also are way below on our garbage processing. And that is going to be a problem. I'm going to remedy that right now as well. Let me... So let's see, we have our waste processing complex, so just the transfer facility. We can sneak that off to the side here. Well, I'm not excited to put this anywhere. <laughs> I think that's the problem with these things uh, is you know, where do you want to put something like this? Really nowhere. Um, let's get it away from our university. Have a little note of commercial around it to buffer from some of the sounds that you'd have. And we'll fill in some of this area with residential as well. Okay, and you can see there's a steady stream of people coming in, moving into the university town. Uh, again, uh, in the comments, if you could give me a good name for this town and we'll begin decorating and really building it up, making sure that it's functioning well in the next episode. Um, so uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this, this uh, first build of a university that I'm uh, my first crack at it. Um, if you have any comments or ideas for the university, please let me know down in the comments. Let's uh, let's take a take a look in and, and see what we're working with. I think it's looking pretty good. Right along our main drag, the entrance to the university. Uh, cars parked diagonally. That's that's a good look. <laughs> we'll have to fix that. And maybe we'll want to jazz this up a little bit. It might be nice to move this fountain into the center and redo this uh, this quad area a little bit. No reason to have just a bunch of pads meeting up. I also think it might be nice to add some of the props uh, that, that I have uh, within this area. Maybe I'll do a little bit of decorating in that way offline and show you what I'm working with. We get back to the next one. So anyway, thanks again for watching the video. Let me know the name for this area down in the comments. If you like it, please consider liking. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know as soon as I release new videos, hit the notification bell. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one.